Hi, happy Sunday, everyone. Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. I got lots of good news. I'm feeling a little better today. Mr. Fiber and I actually got out and walked today. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Had a little chest tightness, but didn't have any flutters. Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay, what has happened here? Because there we go. It's stealing the show. The microphone is stealing the show. Hey, everybody. Let's see who's here. Okay. <laughs> Let's see who's here. Cheryl was the first one in. Hey, Cheryl, <laughs> stay close. I have news for you, too. Hey, Wendy Jo, <laughs> she's working and lurking. You do it. You do it. Sharon, Sharon creates. Hey, I have news for you, too, Sharon. <laughs> Victoria, good to see you. <laughs> working on more fingerless gloves. You are knocking those out. Joyce is here, patiently waiting. Of course you are. <laughs> Joan, I'm so glad you're feeling better. I hope that's what that means. I'm glad you're here. And Rosie's here. Hi, Rosie. Chelsea's here. <laughs> I know they are talkative tonight, aren't they? They are talking it up in there. I should have given them a little longer. Annie's here. Hi, Annie. <laughs> We're trying to get. Wait, ready? You're kind of. There you go. That's better. <laughs> Y'all couldn't see him. Look at him talking. TJ's here. Hi, TJ. Lurking tonight, working on trying to create your own pattern. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Love it. Valerie Marie, good to see you. Laura Blocks, Laura's Block Ministries. Hello, Laura. Alice. If y'all don't know, most of you don't know, but Jan has two names and the other one is Alice. And that's what I call her is Alice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Margaret's here. Hello, Margaret. Tina, good to see you. Happy Sunday. Work off work tomorrow. Ooh, nice. You have to feel like you're playing hooky on a Monday. That's awesome. Hey, Frozen. Good to see you. Maureen, how many more things have you piped out this week, girl? <laughs> she is a blanket and jacket and cardigan making machine, that woman. Let me tell you. Beautiful. Very colorful. Colleen, never made it to Sunday. Well, you are here. I'm fixing to stamp you in. <laughs> Patty Barker, hey, good to see you. I'm still not to the bottom yet. Y'all are just all coming in. How nice. How nice. <laughs> you might be lurking. Okay. Sixth log cabin blanket. Well, we're going to be behind you, Chelsea and I, pretty soon. When I get caught up on a few other things, I'm trying very hard not to do any starditis. It is, I'm itching though. I really am. Feeling better, but still no energy. Well, I understand. Now, did you wind up actually having the flu, Joan? Hi, Dana's here. <laughs> Oh, there's Donna. Hey, Donna, you want me to show? I can show my blanket again if you want. And I can show pictures of Chelsea's. Okay, you and O are making bookmarks. Oh, that's good because I'm getting kind of low on the bookmarks. That's good. Hey, Lori, Lori's here. Yay. Am I caught up? I'm caught up. Let me get y'all stamped in. <laughs> Y'all are coming in so fast, I didn't have time to stop and stamp. So now you are all 
stamped in. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> okay. I have a lot to tell you guys. But first of all, what are y'all sipping on and what are y'all making? I remembered the K-Cup. And I'm sipping on a peppermint chocolate mocha from Crazy Cups. And I actually ordered some more of these and got a new box in. So I don't know whether this is leftover from the other box or if this is the new box. But it smells really good. Kind of smells like a peppermint patty. <laughs> okay. <coughs> It'd be fun. Okay. So you guys, that's Donna. And... Chelsea and I used her yarn to make our log cabin blankets. Oh, well, it sounds like the flu. Folding laundry and peeling apples for dinner. Okay. Yes, I really do help hope that you get your you get your energy back very soon, Joan. I've got my my little cotton doily. I use that. I put that over my cup on my coffee warmer. You guys, it keeps the cup absolutely perfect temperature. So good. Okay. But first of all, I need to play a little. Hey, Sharon. <laughs> Turtle blizzard in your cup. Ooh, that sounds good. Working on a shawl and number three sunflower. Awesome. Water and a diamond painting. Almost finished. Ooh. Caffeine-free diet pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper. And working on your octopus cross stitch. Ah. Cool. You were negative, but you had a nasty bug for sure then. Okay, I have got to say thank you to Lisa M. And so she's going to get one of these. So that came into my Kofi. So she bought me a cup of coffee. Thank you, Lisa M. I just, if you watch this back, I so appreciate that. That was very, very sweet of you. And Joyce, almond rubios. Where'd you get the almond rubios? I like rubios tea. Finished a bod shawl. Finished the second side of the, for the dickie. Trying to decide which of the many items you want to start. <laughs> Should be up next. I know. Oh, good. You like it. You got your package. <laughs> it's so funny because I get the notifications that those packages have been delivered, but I don't really remember whose address is what. I mean, I have some of the addresses just like, oh, I think that's so-and-so because I've sent several, but I almost always forget who's who's got what. I just know they were delivered and then I can go back and check too. I'm so glad you like it. That's awesome. Margaret's drinking Dr. Pepper Zero, working on some donation baby blankets. Oh, I want to do that too. That's what I want to do with those log cabin. I want to make like some, some baby size ones and make some lap size ones that could go to care homes and because they really work up pretty quick. You know it? You're on the water. I should be on the water. You're three-fourths of an inch ready for being ready for the next part. Okay. Oh, you don't have to, Joyce. Just tell me where you got it. I need to look that up. Coffee and water. Okay, what else do I need to tell you? I did put the buttons. I put the buttons on, you know, I had started. I was going to use, the, this was going to be the one was going to be the the baby blanket and I decided I wanted to get it done and get it off of the off of the needle off the hook so 
I turned it into a scarf cowl. It's very heavy, but I really kind of like it. I really kind of like it folded down like that, but you can fold it up and it's very warm. I've got these buttons on here right now that are big old button. See the big old buttons? And they're nice and they can go anywhere because the holes that I put in this, you can adjust it so I could put those buttons just anywhere. So I could come over here and put the button. See what I'm saying? So it's cool. And you guys, this is baby yarn. So this is, I used three weight baby yarn and I used four at a time to make this. Four at a time. Because I was wanting to use up some of that baby, baby yarn. But it turned out to be a very soft and pretty and delicate wearable. So I'm happy. I'm happy with how it turned out. Let me show you those buttons. So see these these are one of those that has the the stem so can you see see it has that stem it has gold here around the back and it's like it's like it's put together with the gold in the center and then this like creamy white on top and i think it made it a lot more feminine looking And those are all those baby yarns. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the baby yarn. We'll just have to wait and see. I'll have to decide. But it turned out really pretty. So I finished putting the buttons on that. And then... Y'all remember I used this to make Chelsea's hat... Oh, can't see in here. So I use the I Love This Yarn print. The color is called Sherbert Stripe. This is the Sherbert Stripe. And I made Chelsea's... Um, hat out of this on the on the Addy. Oh, thank you, y'all. And I still have this much of it left. So when I made her hat, I used um, a purple color of another yarn and striped it and it was two layers. So then I went ahead and I was making a what I thought was going to be a child size cowl but it was too narrow to go on over the head that way. Okay. Hey, Petra. Oh, you made it. I'm so glad you made it. I know you're going to get some happy mail. Yay. Oh, that's a good idea, Wendy. Thank you. Oh, I love it. So, this side from right here, see, this is that the purple that I put in it, okay? And I just went back and forth with it, and I had finished it off here with the purple, and this was the other end. So I took those two ends, and in between, I crocheted with it and put another portion of it in here. And y'all... It is a little tight going on, but it actually makes a really nice cowl. 
And if I'm so inclined to cover up my ears, it actually would go great covering up the ears too, like a doubled up ear warmer. So I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> I'm going to keep it. I like it. it. This isn't for fashion when I'm walking. This is for warmth when I'm walking. But as a cowl, I think it looks really cute as a cowl. And you've got the crochet and the, and the Addy knitting together. See? Okay, we've just messed up my hair now. Oh, you're working on your all in the family. Okay. Breezy. There's Bree. Hi, Bree. Glad you're here. Okay. That's all right. Sandy Michaels. Come on in. Yes. So the knitted part was made on the Addy. And I just crocheted the, the two ends together with another piece. I'll give you a closer look, okay? I'll give you a closer look. Right there is where I started. And when I took the scrap yarn off, I crocheted this little piece on here. Okay, I crocheted just a little edge on it. And then that's all of that's knit. I changed colors right there. And this is what that colorway looks like on the Addy. And then right here, I crocheted onto the edge right there. So when I went to go put this other piece in here, I just picked up this edge and started crocheting. And that's what it looks like in crochet. And these are um, half doubles and singles. So... Uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing some more stuff on the Addy for sure, you guys. I am definitely going to be doing some more stuff on the Addy. Um, because I have just, I'm really just a baby learner on it. Okay. But I have a bunch of books and that's something I really want to do is more, more Addy work. So, yeah, because I do have an, a one where I show you my very first time out when I did a hat and a scarf on the Addy. If you look on my channel, um, that'll give you an idea how my very first time went when I used it. So, but I, I really like that. It feels really good. Oh, one more whip is here. Yay. Good to see you. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Maribel. Nice to see you all these people coming. I'm so glad. Your daughter's now made two crop sweaters on your Centro. Awesome. That's amazing. If that's for me, it's like Jill's, but shorter on top. Still figuring out how to shoot my shirt. It's been like almost 20 years since I've had hair this short and learning curve. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet it is. I'll bet it is. Now, my hair has a lot of, um, I have a lot of natural curl. So, you guys, my hair just does this. And I am very blessed. I'm blessed to have the color that I have. And I'm blessed to have the natural curl. I, I couldn't be any more blessed with my hair. I really couldn't. Deb, yes, that's it. Thank you, Petra, because I was I was struggling. I was struggling. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's nice to see her, isn't it? Yeah. 
Okay, so you have white hair and no curl. Hmm. And are you going to have it above or below the ear? Do you know? Yeah. It's nice to have you all here. I so appreciate it. I do have a giveaway. Okay. And this package has two things in it. I did take a picture of what this looks like. This is a Mobius cowl. And then there is a hat that goes really well with these colors. So this is going to be here after a while. This is going to be the giveaway. This, I knit both of these myself. So hand knit by me. Now I wanted to tell you about how my cowl is looking. This is the cowl that I am doing. This is the, the one by Crochet Creations by Christy. This is the Outlander cowl. And I just started part five. So this was part one, two, three, four, and I just started part five. If you're on her Facebook group, there are instructions on how to make it there, or you can go to her YouTube channel and you can go to her Sunday live where she tells you the instructions. This is kind of like a, um, a bobble stitch. And then these are double crochets. Now the, the idea is we're going to make it to where it, it's going to go around. It's a tube, but it's going to come around and be a cowl and it's out outlander inspired and i think my colors are coming out really good for outlander the last color i just added in was this one this is the um mary maxim's alpaca tweed and like a navy tweed thank you i'm i'm really i'm really liking how this is turning out it's very nice and that black one is a lion brand. It's the Heartland Tweed. And it's the Black Canyon Tweed. There's that. All right. Uh, sharing, Sharon Creates. I have picked my colors. These are going to be my colors for my sunflower squares. So this will be the center and here will be my sunflower. And then I have decided I'm going to put white around it. This one is the Woodlands, Mary Maxim Woodlands. It's a real pretty heathered yarn. It's called... brown heather is brown heather <laughs> i think that'd be nice for the inside and then this one is called golden and this is tweed indeed this is yarn bees tweed indeed and it's the golden color so that's going to be my i've got them picked so i'm going to do those later on today And then what else have I got for you? Still working on the hat. Okay, Mary, glad you're here. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about when I say the sunflower squares, I do have a video here on my channel. And in that video, in the description box, I link to Sharon Sharon Creates channel. And to her video where she explains that she is making those granny squares for 
Dylan Round's mother. Because Dylan Round's um, loved sunflower seeds. He always planted them. And, she, and Sharon is putting together blankets for that. This is going to come up really, really bright. But here is the hat. This is going to be the paw hat. I'm getting closer to having my ribbing done. I'm using Basics, Line Brand Basic Stitch Reflective. This is Volt Yellow. And when I get to my, it's one of my paw hats. And when I get to the paws, they're going to be done in the Lion Brand DIY Glow in the Dark. DIY Glow is going to be my paws for that. And besides the Knit Dicky, that is about all that I have worked on at the moment so huh, let me take a little break get a drink of coffee and get caught up on the chat hi marcia so glad you're here ricola hey crystal how are you <laughs> are you off work today You use the DIY glow? Oh, the reflective yellow. Okay. I bet it turned out good. You're using the Bago Day pattern. Yes, Bago Day has a, a great sunflower pattern. I also saw one. It's still there. Her channel is still there. But Melanie Ham has a really nice one. So if you are inclined to go back and support Melanie Ham, you know, she passed away. But her channel is still active and all of those tutorials are still there. And she also has a great um, sunflower square pattern. Yeah, highlands, earth tones and greens. I know it. But I'll, I know those browns and textures are coming out really nice, aren't they? They are. <laughs> is she not feeling well did she say oh did i miss i missed an, oh you're homesick today uh well just sit back and relax and enjoy a head cold i know but it still brings us down makes us dang tired makes us tired Now, Petra mentioned that she's going to be getting a package, and several of you have gotten packages. Several of you have purchased the last of the hand-dyed yarn that I had in my store. I have a few left, so I'm, I'm going to show you guys what I have left if anybody wants to purchase it, and I will do that at the end, okay? Because I don't want to make everybody sit through that. But I do have a few skeins left. Hey, Sandy. Yes, happy Sunday. Yes, I just noticed that. I was watching her podcast, and she said that she had bought more brown for from ice because she needed it when she was doing granny squares and i was like did i miss the granny square so i went over and i saw that she also has a sunflower granny square real pretty are they are they prettier or are they not prettier that's what i want to know are they prettier or not prettier Oh no, a pattern test. Listen, I don't have a problem getting sick. I have a problem getting done. <laughs> so I don't do them anymore. Mm -mm. I did one for Reggie and I did not finish in time and I felt so bad. Hi, Christine. Good to see you. Glad you're here. They aren't prettier. Well, 
Well, they weren't all that soft, but I did like the ombres. Did she say whether they were any softer? Y'all, feel the yarn. <laughs> if you can, I'm just saying, if you can get out and go to stores, feel the yarn. Because Chelsea and I, we have noticed this about several places that we have been. We have been to Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to give you an example. This yarn right here. When I knit it on the Addy, feels great. When I crocheted it, now maybe it's because I didn't do anything real open, but it doesn't feel as good. It's not as soft. It'll be interesting to see how it is once it's washed, because I have not washed this yet. So I will let you know. But I know that some of the colors are just not... They're just not as soft. Um, this is one of the ones I got on the, the reduced last year. This color, okay? It was reduced last year. And it doesn't feel as good as some of the other that I have. And some of the ones that, and when Chelsea and I noticed that when we were at Hobby Lobby. And you feel certain colors feel really good. And then the other colors don't feel as good. And that's happening with the Red Heart. And some of those are really starting to feel better, but some of them still don't feel quite as good. Anyway, that said, feel the yarn. <laughs> so she's saying they're rougher too. Well, then they, they found another supplier to make them and they're not, they're just not as good. Yeah. Now, I don't know, Tina, did you order them from Hirschner's? They may still have some that were the other brand, the other ones. If you're buying from places like Hirschner's and some of those, they may have them in their stock. And the ones they have in stock may be the older ones, not the newer ones. Just saying, I don't know where you ordered from. From your inspirations, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what what's going to happen with that then. Yeah, it, so they're made in Turkey, and some of them that are made in Turkey are softer. So, but I don't know about the the ombre because I really feel like it has something to do with certain colors and the way they have to set those colors that make some of the yarn not be as soft. But you know, I worked with, of course, this is the older ombre when I made that baby blanket. And after I washed that baby blanket, it was so soft. And that was using some of those ombres, but they were not these new ones. Yeah, the I love Craft Smart. And I love the mainstays. Both of those for, I, I would all day long buy Craft Smart and mainstays all day long for value yarn. They're, they're really soft. But you do also have to feel the colors because some of them, there's certain colors in those that also aren't as soft when you feel them. Okay, what was the other thing I was going to do? Um, hmm, I got a new, I got the new crochet magazine. Have y'all seen it yet? I got that. And then I'm going to be telling you guys. I've got something planned out of this book for Tuesday. So when I do my video for book club, we're going to start uh, the new book on Tuesday. Just a reminder, if you guys want to get Unmasked by Paul Holes, this is our book for Tuesday book club. And I'm going to be doing a video for you guys so that you will know all of the particulars. 
And when I do, I'm going to reveal what I'm going to be making out of that. I'm doing a lot better. Oh, the solid colors have been softer. See, I wonder if there's something about the way they're having to make those. I know, most of it is. Yeah, something's going on with that, Colleen. We'll figure it out, won't we? <laughs> we'll figure it out. Let me grab my log cabin blanket and show you guys how it turned out and give you an idea about how big I made mine. Because I know that Donna wants to see it made up. Okay, I decided to stop so here it is and let me give you an idea about the size I need to I need to lay this down on my table over here. Hold on, let me measure this. I'll be back. Okay. Mine is 46 inches square, you guys. Okay, I'm going to tell you all the particulars. I'll tell you all the particulars and and I made I made it Chelsea and I used uh, Donna's yarn, Crystal Skies hand dyed worsted weight for it. Yes, Maureen's been doing them and they're in the Facebook group and they're beautiful. And Jeffrey did one too. Jeffrey Crowley, she did one too. And so we did, it's the Hooked by Robin Granny Log Cabin. Okay. Now, I've got to count the blocks, so y'all hold on just a minute. Let me count these blocks real quick. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, I have to follow it around, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
22. I did 24 blocks. Okay, you guys. Hi, Steve. Hi, Cynthia. <laughs> 24 blocks. And that get that got me 46 inches square. Okay, I'm going to write this down. Because even I will forget. Okay. 24 blocks. 46 inches square. And then let me tell you how many different colors I used. So I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I used ten different of Donna's yarn. And then the in-between color is yarn ID from Hobby Lobby. It's the yarn B. There isn't, and I decided not to do one either. I really considered putting some sort of an edging on it, Sandy, or Steve. Sorry, I saw S. I thought about it, and you definitely could. I think Chelsea is doing that on hers. Yes, Hooked by Robin is the channel, and it's the Log Cabin Granny Square Blanket. <laughs> It turned out really good, didn't it? So I can tell you what colors that I used. Okay. Now the Hobby Lobby ID yarn that I used, some of it was um, clearance from last year. So let me get my... Uh, And I think Chelsea just sent me a picture of hers. Right now, Chelsea's is 65 by 61 with 28 blocks. Okay. And this is how Chelsea's looks. And she used a few more, uh, what I would call, solid colors in hers along with Donna's yarn and she used Hobby Lobby I love this yarn for it so that one is that one is 65 by 61 and it's 28 blocks on hers and she said she's going to do an edging on it I know don't don't let it do whatever makes you feel good, Sandy. That's all I'm going to say. Yes, Hooked by Robin is the log cabin blanket. Yes. I know. I like hers with some more of the solid colors in there, too. I really do. Now, Chelsea and I are both, uh, they're both four weight. Both of ours are four weight yarn, worsted weight yarn. I have three more colors. She she has three more she wants to add, and then she's going to put her edging on. Okay. Here's my cheat sheet. Here's all of my tags from Donna's yarn. And this is Donna. Now. Oh, let me see. If I can do this. Let 
I'm going to have to hold it out here. I can't hold it up close to you guys. Can y'all see it pretty good? So in the center, that is the 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 yarn be uh, yarn ID. Okay, this color right here is Love Me Do. This one is Raspberry Rush. And then this one, hard to see. It's like navies and greens. Is a winter's night at the castle. No, is that right? Stormy morning. That's the second one. Stormy morning is this one. This is stormy morning. This is raspberry rush. Because I put them in order. And that one is bats at the halloween this was from her this was my my club so there's no more of that and then the next one this colorful one is summer at the beach and then we have this is ruby red This one here, this red and white, I don't know if you remember this one, Donna, but this is Cherish. And this is Ocean Current right here. This one is the Winter's Night. Winter's Night at the Castle. It's kind of hard to see, but it's got flecks in it and it's a gray. And then the Love Me Do, the Love Me Do is this one right here. I think that's all of them. <laughs> Okay, it turned out wonderful. I would so do it again. Love the pattern. It, it works up really fast, you guys. It really does. I went through, I went through two of the yarn ID and the color I used was Pearl River. And see, this is, I had gotten it on sale at the, I didn't touch that, did I? Are y'all hearing me okay? <laughs> so, and as I went through two of them, and this is what I have left of the third one. I've got a floppy, as Llama Mama Kayla calls it. I got a floppy. And now I'm going to show you what I have left in my box. The only one that I really, really used up was the Love Me Do. That's all I have left of the Love Me Do. This is what I have left of them. So that I'm really happy with. It's very cozy. It looks absolutely beautiful on my chair. I love it. So I know. So pretty. Hi, Tammy. Good to see you. Okay, good. I know they're all turning out so pretty, aren't they? She has her 
Y'all, her Sunday is jam-packed. She has always got a lot going on. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Rosie. No, I think it was Winter's Night at the Castle. Those, the, the castle colors that I have are from Donna's Club. And it's her Wizards and Witches. And it's the one that I get. And it's the seasons. So summer, no, spring, summer, fall, and winter. So I get them four times a year. And that was one of those colors. Need to drink. Okay. I need to give away the hat and the cowl and then we will talk about why I'm in, why, why I'm so happy and I've got pictures to show you that are related to Hobby Lobby <laughs> so first of all let's okay let's just start with the hat this is hand knit. It's a beanie. I used Ross's pattern to make this hat. So that's the way that he, the top of his comes out. It's also the way I do the top of mine. Not quite the same formula. Similar. Similar formula. So it's a very, very pretty beanie. It's a fingering weight. Very light, fingering weight, beanie. This purple, it's hard to see, but this purple is a sparkle. So I don't know if you guys can see it. I do not remember the colors for this anymore. I made this to go with my scarf that I made, and, and it matches it. It's the Encanto wrap by Crochet Luna, and I made the hat to match it. And then this is the cowl. I just thought that they went really well together. It's a Mobius twist cowl. This is, and this is, so it's been stitched together. This is the waffle stitch in knitting. And we need, I need to do a tutorial making these because these are fun. Now, this yarn, the solid color is by Juniper Moon Farms and it's a cotton blend. And this shiny, I don't know, can you guys tell that that's shiny, that that multicolor, soft multicolor that's in there. Y'all are never going to believe what that is. So, how about we mark the chat? Um, Chels, are you up for it? Doing the, the counting? Are you available or do you want Bree to do that? And the reason I say that is I want whoever is going to count to be the ones to put the mark. Okay, if you can put the mark in the chat, we're going to go by your marks. That way it's easier to count them as they come up. So whenever she puts mark in the chat, then I'm going to tell y'all, I want you to tell me what you think that this is made with. Thank you, Alice. Okay, there's the mark. What do you guys think that this cowl is made with? That other color. It's going to really... <laughs> 
quiet. Be quiet. <laughs> okay. How does this hour go so dang fast, y'all? <laughs> Alice, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong, Alice. <laughs> Peaches and cream, some of the hand dyed yarn, uh, white and blue. Okay. No clue, but pretty. Nope. Not Gammy's jeans. Tinsel, cotton, acrylic. I know. I love that. Tinsel. Steve, Steve, pick something. Karen, simply soft. Hand dyed. Nope, not shenanigans. <laughs> nope. Take a while. Get okay. Now I'm going to tell you it's natural. It's not synthetic. It's natural. There's your first hint. Oh, you know more than you think you know. Donna says silk. Now we're getting some hemp, and some bamboo, getting some alpaca, dog fur. Hey, you know, silk. Okay, we ready to mark the chat? Does everybody have their answer in? Whenever you're ready, Chels. Oh, hi, Sandy. That was one we didn't have in there yet. He says the buffalo one. Okay, there is the mark. It's none of those. It's sugar cane. So think of bamboo going that direction. It's sugar cane. The fibers out of the sugar cane. So it's a sweet, sweet scarf. <laughs> Listen, I had it gifted to me a long time ago and I've never seen it again. I know. Isn't that wild? <laughs> so. All right. So what, how many do we have? Chelsea's furiously adding up. <laughs> she says 13. Let me go ask Mr. Fiber for a number. Okay, lucky number 11, number 11. <laughs> nope, that would have been synthetic. <laughs> nope, not going to melt in the rain. <laughs> A diabetic can wear it. Oh, I love that. That's funny. Yeah, right? Cotton candy. <laughs> It's the fiber. See, the calories don't count when it's the fiber. 
y'all know this, right? You know the calories don't count with fiber. <laughs> oh my god, one more whip. Yay! Okay, so when you win something from me, you have to email me so I don't forget to send it to you. <laughs> so if you would please email me and Chelsea will put it in here. And um, I know yarn fiber doesn't count. I'm telling y'all, it's completely calorie free, calorie free. Yep, calorie free. Congratulations, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, does anybody have any questions? I'm going to tell you all why I'm so excited. So, as you guys know, my daughter Carrie is in Colorado, and my dad is in Colorado. And my daughter Chelsea here, she is in Louisiana. So, on my way back from my dad's from Colorado on my way home in November, that's the last time that I have gone anywhere out of town um on that trip on the way back i hit a hog i was very lucky very 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 lucky i mean i dodged a a real bullet he hit and i swerved i actually counter steered which my dad can't believe because I always forget to counter steer. Even though I rode a motorcycle and that's the best way, your best defense is to counter steer. Well, I counter steered and he came at the front and then he hit at the back and it spun him around. And I didn't have any major damage on my car and we were fine. Cerberus was with me. He got flung a little bit towards the seat, but he didn't get hurt. Everything in the car got thrown on top of him. <laughs> I had to stop and push everything back. And he's had to sit in this little square on the way home because everything got jostled around. But we survived and then we were fine. And I just, the driving thing is, it's a deal, you know. It's just harder and harder on everybody. So I was thinking when I was telling my daughter, Carrie, that I was going to go visit my dad. And she said, well, oh, are you flying? And I thought, nur, 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 nur. I hadn't thought about it. Well, I wonder how much that is. Well, guess what? It's cheaper than a hotel room. Which is what I do when I go to see my dad and I make part of the trip I sp take Cerberus with me we spend the night in a hotel room and then I make the rest of the trip the next day plus gas flying's cheaper so I am going to be flying on my next trip so I was telling Chelsea about that and um she's like dag burn you I'm like what I just knew I'm like, what? What did I do? Well, because I was telling her the days that I was going to be going to my dad's. And she said, we're coming there. Oh, I messed it all up. I ruined it. And Mr. Fiber was keeping the secret so she could come and surprise me. She was going to walk in here on Friday night when I was doing my live. And I said, I would have peed my pants on camera. <laughs> I totally would have peed my pants on camera if she walked in that door on my live. I would have with the kids. <laughs> I 
Ruined it. I ruined it. <laughs> but guess who's coming? Guess who's coming? <laughs> so, I don't know. We don't know what day. We don't know what's going on as far as uh, the schedule for for my channel. I don't know what days I will. I would have been epic. It would have been. I would have crapped my pants. I'm just telling you. Just telling you. So I don't know what day the lives. We're going to keep the live schedule. We'll try all that stuff. Whether the boys will be on or they won't be. You know, they may sneak in on it or whatever. But she's going to be here. So y'all just be patient. Because in the next starting starting in April, things are going to be a little off. Okay? Because she's going to be coming somewhere the first part of April. I have my heart appointment, and then she's coming, and then I have my pulmon pulmonologist appointment, and then the end of April, I'm going to go to my dad, and I'm going to go over and see my daughter, Carrie, while I'm up in Colorado. Then I'm going to come back, and then I'm probably going to go back to Chelsea somewhere in the middle of May. And I, I'm not giving you all the dates or anything, but that's pretty well what's going to happen. <laughs> So that's why I'm, I'm happy and yeah, <laughs> not that I'm not happy here, y'all. I'm very happy here. Don't, don't get that all, don't, don't start, don't start nothing. Not unless it brings me 300 more subscribers. <laughs> so that's my good news. Lots of good news today. I know I need to try. I will do, I will, I will try to do something while I'm there. Cause it's, it's absolutely beautiful up there where she's at. Yes. The next couple of months are going to be busy, but I have been sedentary since I got home in November and then I got the flu remember. So, and then the allergies and the, and the infection and then, you know, thank you. So, we need to do coffee, Cheryl. We need to do coffee. I don't know about shopping. I don't know about filming, but I would like to have coffee at least. So keep that in mind and I'll let you know. Oh, I'm so excited for you, Alice. Oh, that's awesome. Where are they moving to? Oh my gosh, they've been there forever. As long as I've been going up there, they've been there. Where are they moving to? So, thank you, Sharon. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yep. Easter break. Yep. So, yeah. Going to be an exciting next two or three months. <laughs> Okay, do you guys want to see what I have left of the yarn? I just, I don't have, I have less than, I think I have less than 10 skeins of yarn left. If anybody would like to see it. If anybody would like to see it, then I'm going to show what I have left. 115 and like. Oh, that's way out there. That's way out there, Cheryl. Let me get it. This is literally all I have left right here in this bag. This is it. And now I am, am going to be cleaning out while Chelsea, and Chelsea's going to help me, you guys. But I'm going to be cleaning out the hand-dyed yarns and um, stuff in here. And I'll be, and when I'm done, then I'm going to be selling some more hand-dyed yarn. I'm going to have some mystery bags. I'm going to have some more giveaways when everything kind of gets reset. 
because I am I am buying with a purpose and I have pictures. Duh, I know, right? <laughs> okay. I have three of these left. And what I have been doing with these, just so you know, these have been going out with the orders, okay? So if you order yarn from me with whatever I have left over, you will also get one of these. And it is what I call fluff. You can see I got my fan on. Look at the halo. <laughs> so this is mohair, silk, and nylon. And it is a one weight. I have three of those, but they will go out with, with the yarn. And I only have the two colors left. Let me count what I got here because I forget now. I think there are Oh, wait. One. You see what that got to read all of them. Make sure I'm right. I just always double check. I have 3 of the she shed shenanigans. I have three of those left. Hi, Bonnie. Now, these are 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. Uh oh. <laughs> Do you really want them, Wendy? Because these are $20 a piece. And this is She Shed Shenanigans. These are not sparkle. These are called Classical Sock. And there's three of them. They are 462 yards each. Okay, that's She Shed Shenanigans. Well, she's quick on the draw if, if she does. I'm waiting for a confirmation on that, Wendy. <laughs> what are the other ones? Okay, the other ones. I have five of the fiber floozy. Same base, 75% superwash. 25% nylon, classical sock. This is fiber floozy. I do PayPal. But I also have Venmo and I have Cash App. But nobody ever uses those. I use Venmo to send money to, to the kids. <laughs> and I have five of those. Same thing, 462 yards, okay? So there's five of those. This is a sweater's quantity, and I would love to see a sweater made in fiber floozy. I would love to see a fiber floozy sweater, a cardigan, somebody. That would be so cool. 20 each. They're 20 each, so... That's a hundred for the floozies and 64 shenanigans. So that'd be 160 for all of those. I know, wouldn't it be a beautiful top? <laughs> Wendy wants them all, you guys. She did say that. Now I have. It's postage is free. I have one. One. This is she shed shenanigans. I don't know why I didn't see it before. 
but this is worsted. This would be $20 for this one. This is a worsted weight she shed shenanigans. I don't know. I think it came out of my stash is where I think it came from. I think I had it tucked away. But somehow it went, it wound up in the back over here. So, and I, I have to go through, I have to go through my stash. So, okay. So Wendy says she wants all of those. Wendy, you're a doll. I, I can't wait to see what you make. And so you'll get one of these too. So whoever, whoever wants this one will also get this too. So, okay, Tammy wants the worsted. And do you want another one of these, Tammy? I can put this in with it if you need another one. Did these go a long way? Because I think these have like, these have at least the 460 like the the fingering weight does. I'm not really positive on how many yards are in this one. Okay. Tammy wants the worsted. Okay. Just let me know if you want, if you want that one. So this will go back in for the giveaway and I will see if I can find something to go with it. Yay. Y'all that emptied a tote. That emptied a tote. So happy. I'm going to set these out here. Now, y'all, don't be discouraged because I will be having more. I'm, I'm hoping to have some more of the the one I want is Gammy's jeans and I want it in worsted. So I will have to talk to Amber whenever she gets ready to dye yarn again. You have crafty friends that can help me. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. I really do. So just email me and I will, I will send you all the, the totals and, and, and all that, you know, so there's Shad. Hi, Shad. Come on in. How are you tonight? Whew. So I know they're so pretty and, and I have more teals, trust me. And I, ha I have some of that yarn. I have. Oh, I got, I've got a lot of stuff I want to use. Not enough time, right? So there, there is my email that, that you guys, Wendy and um, Tammy, just send me an, an email and one more whip. I forgot already. I'll have to try to remember her name. I have been to your channel and for some reason it's just slipping my mind. Okay, Wendy Jo, thank you so much. Oh, she's going to make some pretty things. Okay, Hobby Lobby. I, as you know, have been struggling with these allergies. I've been, I fought myself for two weeks and said, I am not going to Hobby Lobby. And then, oh, I want to go to Hobby Lobby. You can ask Chelsea. The struggle has been very real, very real. Now, before I got a couple more things to tell y'all, I really want to show you an absolutely beautiful square. Sharon, here's a square that's going to be coming to you. This one was done by Art, me and Chelsea. We have a friend named Terry. He comes to Friday Night Crime. He's the reason I really started doing the Friday Night Crime stuff. 
And that one will be coming to you, Sharon. So I have a personal shopper who was going to Joann's. And as you know, on Friday, she was at Hobby Lobby as I was going live Friday night. And here's the cart. And it's got Solomon in it. And it's got yarn in it. <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> Now, that's just a cute basket. I don't care who you are. <laughs> hey, Kim. Oh, my goodness. So glad to see you. Hey, Classy Kim is here. Yay. Good to see you, Kim. Oh, my goodness. How are you doing? I love that you came by. I know. Is that not the cutest thing? He's just a doll. So Chelsea went, she, she went to, um, hold on. Here you go. Can you see it, Chad? My daughter, Carrie got me and it's a sloth. And I always forget the name of the, um, is it David or the, it's, it's the silver, the sterling. Not Harry and David. What is that? Oh, I always forget the name of it. The fancy one. It's a fancy one. So y'all got to go to Hobby Lobby? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> here's, here's Chelsea holding our bags. <laughs> <laughs> funny and but wait there's more she's she is not feeling 100% you guys I don't want her to come up here she also went to Joann's y'all one of the Joann's by her has the wall The wall. You know we're going to be looking at that when I go down there. Okay, Chels. I know you sent me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here's here's a stack of mine and she's bringing it with me. Her she's bringing it with her. So we're going to look at my yarn when she comes, okay? There's my Hobby Lobby haul. Uh, <laughs> hi Solomon. He says that's you. Did he see his? <laughs> So y'all, when, whenever Chelsea comes now, we're going to do the Hobby Lobby thing. So y'all just have to wait till she gets here for the Hobby Lobby haul. It'll be more fun that way anyway. I know. <laughs> and we were very, because y'all know my, my word this year is purposeful. So we were very purposeful. Now, I can give you a brief overhaul overview uh i got two of them i got two of them donna so here's chelsea's chelsea paid 75 dollars and 95 cents She saved 
197.34. Mine, I don't even know if this is the full, I'm not sure this is absolutely total. I don't think this is everything. And I can't read my own writing now. The, that that one I showed you was 109.10, and I saved. It would have been 381 dollars and 67 cents retail. So I saved 272 dollars and 57 cents. That's why we do it, y'all. Hey, how you doing, Crystal? Another Crystal. <laughs> Oh, they did. They they are resetting their, their area. It's going to be really, I told Chelsea, I said, here's what's going to be fun when they come out and they reset everything. And then we go and we do the 30% because we, hopefully there'll be some new yarns and we can do the 30% thing. Won't that be fun? That's the way I'm looking at it anyway. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad you came by. How's the log cabin going? Yeah, I mean, it's just amazing. We'll, we'll go over it more whenever we get our full, complete totals, whenever she comes. We'll, we'll have a better total. I'm not sure that's everything. I think that's everything for her, though. I did get two diamond paintings, too, Donna. And they were both the flower ones, which had three in each. Amazing. Okay. That's all I got for y'all. We ate right through all that stuff really fast, didn't we? Mr. Fiber and I went to the Catholic Church today and had our lunch. They had their the sausage dinner today at the church. It's the Knights of Columbus. Oh, so good. And I have leftovers in there. I could not eat all of it. And I'm going to go finish it off after this. Okay. Okay, feel better. So I go to the heart. I, I turned in the monitor, Lori. I go to the doctor on the 4th of April to go over all of my results. And then I go to the pulmonologist on the 18th of April about the um, sleep apnea. So it's all in their hands right now. <laughs> they have to tell me what they think. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm gonna go. I love y'all. I love you, Oliver. I love you, Solomon. I love you, Chelsea. I love you, Carrie. I love you, Sailor. And I love you, Mr. Fiber. I love you, Serbs. Where are you at, bud? Oh, he's in the hallway. Y'all can't see him over there, but he's in the hallway. Yes, big hugs to everyone. Everybody feel better. Let's get past all of this sickness. And I'm so glad you guys came and spent time with me. I, I'm so happy. Thank you. I love Sundays. They, they really do brighten my week. And I really appreciate you guys so very much. So don't forget to hit the thumb if you haven't. And I will see you guys. Have fun today. Bye, everybody.